And if you are committed and you are serious about becoming great at what you do and about massive success and really winning the game of real estate, then it makes sense to study winners. Hey there, it's Kevin Ward, the founder of Yes Master Real Estate Success Training, helping you get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And today I wanna to talk about championship mindset. I wanna talk about winning and how winning, if, you, if, if you're playing a game that matters, and I believe your life is your championship game, winning is everything. And so I study winners, I study great, I study greatness, I study the best in the world. And I just was reading the, today's edition of the Wall Street Journal. And I, in the sports section, which I never really pay attention to, but I just noticed uh, an article on LSU, the LSU Tigers, Louisiana State University Tigers, who just won the college football national championship. LSU is in the GOAT conversation. GOAT, G-O-A-T, standing for the greatest of all time. Is LSU football team this year, this in, this uh, NCAA championship team, is it the greatest of all time? I don't care about the answer to the question. I only know when I see greatness and I'm like, I want to find out why it are, how did they get to this point of being in this conversation at this level? That matters to me because I train real estate agents to be the best in the world at what they do. And how do you become the best in the world at what you do? Is it just talent? You're lucky you're born with the right genes, you have the right parents, you have the right background, you just happen to have the right perfect personality. What is it that makes the best in the world? And I do not believe that any of that is the secret to becoming the best in the world. In fact, all, this, all the evidence suggests that that is not what makes people the best in the world. It is choices that they make and things that they do. And if you are committed and you are serious about becoming great at what you do and about massive success and really winning the game of real estate, then it makes sense to study winners. It makes sense to understand what they do. And so in today's video, I'll just talk about three things that I learned from reading this article about the, uh, about the LSU team and whether or not they're the greatest of all time. And again, I'll leave it to, I, I, I'm not interested in whether they're the greatest of all time. I'm just interested in, I didn't watch the game. I, I would love to have watched the game, but um, the Tigers finished 15 and 0, 15 wins, zero losses, perfect season. The, the season itself is among the greatest of all time. The quarterback, who was also the Heisman Trophy winner, um, I don't remember his name, Joe Burrow, uh, had insane statistics this year. But again, that's not the key. So here are, here are the three lessons or the three things that I take out of this that are indicators of, they're, they're the predictors of greatness, the predictors of what makes you capable of being great at what you do in your world and in your life. And I think number one is championship thinking. That this team thought about championships. That's what they think about. A couple of years ago, um, and I don't know the whole story, but they were supposed to win. They didn't win, or something like that, or they didn't make it to the the championship game. And their coach, their head coach Ed Orgeron, and I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right. Ed Orgeron said two years ago, he said, "We're coming. We're coming." Um, he's an extremely effective, great coach and great coaches help their teams win championships and they've been very successful in, uh, as, a, as a team over the years winning championships. And the fact that he wins championships with different classes in the college, you know, your, your class every year, you have, a, your, you have players graduate. So he continually brings along great people and turns them into championship teams. Anyway, so number one is championship thinking. You have to, championships are planned. You don't just one day wake up and go like, ah, I'm, I'm winning in my life. Well, we just, we're in the championship game. We're in the, we're in the Super Bowl. We're in the World Series, whatever it is. You don't just wake up one day and be in the Super Bowl. You plan it. You commit to it. You say, this is my outcome. I'm gonna win the championship. A gold medalist in the Olympics does not all of a sudden accidentally become a gold medalist. They plan it, they commit. I'm gonna train, I'm gonna go to the Olympics and I'm gonna win a gold medal. Nobody trains to go to the Olympics. 
They train to win a gold medal. Nobody trains to win a silver medal. Nobody trains to win a bronze medal. They, they don't, that's not what they train for. What do they train for? The gold, the championship. That's what everybody trains for. But they have to, at, at the high level, they have to have that mindset. But amateurs don't train for that. Amateurs play for fun. Your life is not just, hey, if I just play pretty good, be okay, make a few, you know, make enough money to pay my bills. If you're good with that, okay, but I think your life is too important. And I think your purpose and your work here on this earth is too important. Have a championship mindset. I am in it to win it. I am in it to win the championship of my life, to have the lifestyle of my dreams, to be able to do the things for my family, to be able to do the things for other people, to add value, to have an impact in the world. That, my friends, is championship. So number one, you gotta commit to greatness. You gotta have championship thinking. The second thing that showed up in the team is ownership. Ownership. So number one is championship. Number two, championship thinking. Number two is ownership thinking. And that is they thought of it as their team and their responsibility to take it to the championship. And I'm going to read part of the article here because I think it's really, really um, profound. After the 2019 spring ball wrapped up, which is kind of like their spring training before the season starts after the summer. After the 2019 spring ball wrapped up, he, Joe Burrow, the quarterback, the quarterback, he convinced the rest of his Tigers teammates to come in for player-led practices on Saturdays. Players set their alarms for 6 a.m. and put themselves through a voluntary two-a-days, a level of dedication rare even among top caliber football programs. And this is from the coach. The coach says, I think that's one of the things that goes unnoticed, unsaid, and that is how many Saturdays they spent working out on their own. Joe is a different cat. Joe, this, the quarterback, is driven. Joe, the quarterback, didn't wait for the coach to call a practice. He said, guys, we want to win a championship. Let's, let's, let's hook up on Saturday and let's train. And they came in every single Saturday. In fact, here is um, uh, another player, one of the players talking about it. He says, just having that connection, just working with each other. I missed part of it here. Um, yeah, let me go back. Sorry, got to put on my glasses here. Um, Justin Jefferson, a junior wide receiver said, that's why we are like we are today, i.e. The, the, the best in the nation. He says, it was during those practices um, I'm sorry, it was just having that connection, just working out with each other every single Saturday. He said, it was just the work. We just did what nobody else is willing to do. We went and did it over and over and over again. And it says it was during those extra practices that Joe Burrow, the quarterback, established a groove with his receivers. In other words, that's when they really learned to click well. So she's basically saying that they took ownership of this whole process of winning. Joe Burroughs took ownership and said, I'm going to make this happen. Coach, um, Coach James Craig, um, let's see. Uh, one of the coaches has done a tremendous job with that line, the offensive line, but Lloyd is the one that had them working out. So here's Lloyd Cushenberry, who is a senior, the center of the offensive line. He's the one that got his offensive line to show up or those practices with Joe Burrow and the receivers, the rest of the team, that got them to actually show up so they could win, so they could train. And he said, um, the coach says that none of this would have been possible without the extra effort his Tigers spent out, uh, his, <laughs> without the extra effort his Tigers spent, put in over the summer when no one asked them to be there. If you want to be great, that's what great teams do. That, my friend, if you're not winning in your life, if you're not getting the results that you want in your life, if you're not making the money you want in your business, if you don't have the listings you want, if you don't have the sales you want, this is the change, is the way you train and the way you prepare to succeed. That's the difference.
And you gotta take responsibility for it and ownership for it. And don't just do the minimums. Don't just do what your broker says you gotta do or what your coach says you gotta do. You go above and beyond that. And it's not just in how hard they play, it's how, it's how they train that made them champions. So number two is, uh, is, is ownership. They took ownership for the championship. And then number three is leadership. Notice what happened here. Joe Burrow convinced his teammates to show up. Joe didn't just go out and work on his own because he was playing on a team. He took the leadership, which means he had to learn and have the ability to influence others who were around him to support him and to work with him to make this happen. And he mastered that skill of leadership, the senior center, also that kid, whatever his name was, uh, Lloyd Cushenberry, he also played a part in that of using his leadership and his influence to help bring that team together and get them to do it. My friend, this is the magic. If you wanna win in your business, if you wanna win in your life, there are three things. Number one is championship mindset, championship thinking. You gotta plan the championship. Championships are planned, they are not accidental events. Number two is you take ownership for your future. You take ownership for winning in your life. You can't blame it on somebody else. You take ownership for it. You say, I'm not gonna wait for somebody else to tell me what to do. I'm not gonna wait for the phone to ring. I'm not gonna wait for somebody to choose me. I am choose myself. And I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna make this happen. And then number three is leadership thinking. And that is, who do I need to influence and who do I need to bring on board with me? Who else do I need helping me to make this happen? Whether it's your, your personal circle, the relationships you have, the networks you have, other agents, team, assistants, family, whatever support you need, you are responsible for bringing them into your business and into your life so that you can win in your life. You want greatness, do what greatness does. And watch what the greatest of all time, what the, the teams like this, the players like this, that do what nobody else did, that's the reason they achieve what nobody else achieves. And you want results that nobody else is getting, you wanna be top in your market, you want to win, you got to be willing to do what others are not willing to do and you can get there and have what you want. Play to win and always expect yes. If this video has been helpful for you, make sure that you give it a thumbs up, comment. I want to know your questions. I want to know your challenges. I want to know what you're thinking about winning in your business and in your life and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that. Share this with other agents that you know need some help winning in their business and their life as well and always expect yes. Now, if you want to win, if winning is important to you, make sure you check out Agent Mastery Live 2020. This is the spring ball. These guys, the, the spring ball they went to, spring training, this is the three days that you can come train with me that will absolutely put you on a track to win your championship in your real estate business. This year, agentmasterylive.com. Go check it out. It's in the link below. I'll see you there.